Welcome to CETV, Camera Electronic here, the Soul Man Frank. To my immediate right is this amazing, wonderful motorsports photographer. I couldn't have chosen anyone better to test a camera. Uh, the new Olympus M1 Mark III, which is big improvement on the M1 Mark II in its speed, in its capabilities, in its image stabilization. Um, but I'm not the shooter. This is the man. So. Uh, Manuel Guria, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you for having me, and uh, thank Olympus for trusting me with the new gear. And yes, big thank you to Olympus Australia for yeah. this EM1 Mark III. It's um, impressive. It is. I was very, very, very impressed. I mean, I'm, I shoot with the um, uh, EM1X, uh, right. which is obviously the top level uh, at this stage, but I was comfortable straight away and the tracking was unreal same as the m1x uh, the m1x has a little bit more speed maybe but i didn't have any issue on tracking the car mm -hmm. um, the nd filtering i was um, trying is a very hot yeah, day that's new right because that very, wasn't in yeah. the m1 too so yeah. that's a, a new uh, improvement something yeah. exciting for olympus users mm -hmm. and uh you know not everyone can always afford the m1x you know this is when you're shooting professionally you're earning a living from it is one Absolutely. thing but we have many people that come to us, they're enthusiasts, they just love photography, like me, but you know, with three kids, can't afford anything. Um, but uh, I think this is where the EM13 will slot in. So you have EM1X as the, the, the top of the line pro camera, yeah. EM13 will be the most amazing backup ever. You know? the, 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 the frame rate, I mean, for sports photography, you know, even uh, for motorsports or any other sports, the, the capability of having frames per second uh, on, on shooting is very, very important. And yeah. this one is just unreal as well. It's, it's very, very quick. Uh, the autofocus was very quick. I don't think I had one autofocus image on all the shooting that we There's did There's a today. new thing on this I read about that was not in the M1 too, which was this uh, joystick. Did you get a chance yeah. to use that? I, I use it all the time and I'm so okay. happy that they it wasn't put it there in this before, camera. So. Yeah, it's, um, it's so easy and quick while shooting to just move your focus point. If you're not yeah. using the tracking, but even if you're using the tracking as a starting point, you just with a joystick immediately, every direction, change where your focus point, and That's I recompose great. my images straight away. Wow. It's, uh, it's how I use it, the focus point, to compose in camera and that's just very which easy. obviously you're talking really you're thinking about post now so it's yeah. saving you a fortune of absolutely, time in post absolutely. And, and, uh, right. and it saves me of having bad crops or having to crop the images we yeah. lost losing quality on images so absolutely it's a definitely great addition to this camera okay um, and um i suppose you know it's it's small it's light it's mirrorless we know uh, olympus are famous for that we everything's handheld everything uh, image stabilizers improve from the m1 mark ii uh, Again, I, w I had a try because uh, I always like to try and push this thing. And I took a shot of one of the videographer at- There's um, an amazing team of videographers right behind this lens that you're uh, watching us 0.3 on. 0.3 of a second and held while he was shooting me and the picture was target sharp. So 0.3 of a second, it was just, you know. It's exciting, we can hear the, the Mustangs in the background <laughs> that he just photographed. Um, and, and what that was with the N32 and the filters. Oh wow, wow! Okay, turned so you on. really put us through his paces. Yeah, and because I was shooting a 0 0.3 of a second in the middle of the day without having to put anything in front of the lens, which is yeah. something that uh, I'm still. I'm gonna go home and see the results on the on the screen, but on the back of the screen here, they look amazing. Yeah, luckily for you guys, we, uh, by the time Manuel gets home and by the time this video is produced, we'll have some stills in there for you to see the uh, quality of the images from this camera. And, uh, and Olympus, there's a new lens on the end there, that 12 to 45. Yeah. Did you get a chance to use that? I, I tried it on... Uh, West Australian flies. When <laughs> I tried it, um, I had to go quite close to the track, obviously. Um, uh, but you're yeah, still in one it, piece. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still safe. We're uh, happy about fortunately, it. Fortunately, the guys are not uh, super, super fast drivers, so there wasn't much risk. Uh, it's, an, it's an awesome lens. I mean, I have for myself the 12 to 40. 2.8. Right. They brought out this uh, 1245 f4, yes, uh, which is lighter, smaller, super sharp, and uh, unless you really need the 2.8, yeah. it's uh, it's definitely an incredible lens. And in most case scenario, the f4 they always are a little bit sharper than the 2.8. So 
I've seen a few manufacturers do that over the years, yeah, yeah. where by having the F4, it's still bright, really. Yeah. ISO is pretty amazing these days. So if it's smaller and lighter, a lot know, of the time, US Pro go for the F4 instead of the 2.8 right. because it's sharper. Yeah. Okay. So and now with the ISO capabilities of both the cameras and this one is good as well and being a micro four third. Um, I know there's, there's F4 an... is not a is not a massive disadvantage than yeah, F2.8. Right. So you go for sharpness more than speed. Uh, I know uh, something that they were very proud of that Olympus worked on was the shutter. I mean, every camera sort of has a shutter life, and it yep. was uh, 200,000 shots in the EM1 Mark II, yep. which is still amazing. But they've actually increased that to 400,000 shots. That is pro level. That yeah. is pro level life of a shutter. Uh, you know, you don't you don't have many cameras they they go over the 400,000 shots. No. Okay. Uh, so it, it, it is the, it is a pro camera, and awesome. it's compared to the uh, M1X, is more, it's it's lighter, it's m more all rounder yeah. than uh, than um, than the M1X. Yeah, because we've got a lot of enthusiast clients that yes. either a won't uh, you know might not be able to you know, financially step up to the M1X or Absolutely. whatever, and also maybe from a size point of view, I mean M1X is a big pro camera. We it love is. it, and it you is. get the chance I love to it use because it, you know big hands and uh, and uh, yeah. and it is. But for this being smaller weather, and lighter, weather, weatherproof. Which yeah, is, I know you can pour like you can pour. We won't waste wine, but no. you can pour water over this. Yeah, and uh, so and, and again, likes wine so. And again, another another thing to consider, you know, if you're traveling, even if you're travel, if you take it with you and you don't have to be scared of taking it out in the rain, lenses and bodies completely waterproof. And Brilliant. So very, oh, yeah. very, awesome. Very, very and impressed. I do know, especially for um, how amazing the image stabilizer is, but they've improved the image stabilizer even for video. And we did get a chance to let the videographers take yeah. it out of your yeah. hands and they had to sort of wrestle it off you. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully we're going to see some video from this camera's video in this video. It's always hard to take camera off my hands, but yeah, right. um, they manage. So awesome. It's, it's good. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of the video quality out of it. And um, no, you've been awesome. Thanks so much for no, organizing so the track and the pleasure. Mustangs. Uh, I want to thank some of the guys that helped us organize these Mustangs. Yeah, who, obviously who Kim Ledger here at um, the uh, driving center. It's, uh, thank you very much for, as a short notice. Yeah, to this is the old RAC track. I mean, yeah, it's amazing yeah. that uh, the guys yeah, have got so it resurrected. So we'll put a link cool. to that. And uh, if you want to come out and test your cars, or they've even got a four-wheel drive track in the back, that'll be awesome. They told me they do something very interesting. They're gonna organize kids from 12 years old to bring their family cars and drive here with their parents. Well, so learn to drive at 12 years I old. I hope my 14-year-old so. my, uh, is, 13-year-old is not listening to this video at all. <laughs> she's not allowed to drive yet, but I, uh, under supervision maybe. Um, Fantastic. And a huge uh, thank you to the uh, Iceberg Media team that are videoing this right now. There's lots of them. There's lots of staff here. It's amazing. <laughs> And um, I'm on my own. Them. I'm on my own. They're half a million. I, I would an amazing crew uh, back at Camera Electronic Man in the store for us. So um, really, uh, it's a huge thank you to our clients, to our viewers. We couldn't be here without you guys. Thank you for supporting Camera Electronic. Uh, Manuel, bro, you're a legend, man. Thank you so much. Daughter. Thank you very much for having me.